a happy birthday. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Remember, every day is your birthday. What are you doing to celebrate your birthday today? Because this is the first day of the rest of your life. Um, <laughs> so, today's topic, how to improve your relationships. We're going to get onto that, obviously. Um, <clears throat> uh, today's, I'm going to summarise first, uh, to a certain extent. Um, everything connected as usual I often well not all, as usual but I often find that everything is connected so the Blinkist book of the day today um, is uh, about everyday mindfulness I'm not sure I've linked it in the description I shall do that later um, how to be mindful about your environment and the people you hang around with and that kind of stuff really cool very good very good uh, summary of the book there today um, and then today's um, Evan Carmichael videos, which would normally all be on johnvdenley.com forward slash morning. Uh, the first one is from Russell Brand, his top 10 tips on basically how to be, how to be, have a better relationship with yourself. And then the second one is how to have a relationship, generally speaking, in uh, romantic relationships. But there's, there's elements of that second video that relate to all relationships as well. Um, <clears throat> So that's really cool. Um, I've actually linked both of those two videos uh, directly in the comment. Um, so my tip always um, to anybody in any relationship is uh, open, honest communication. And you'll see that coming out in, in all of the tips that come up in a minute. This is my personal um, tip for anybody is to have open, honest communication. The moment that breaks down, the moment you start being scared to speak to the other person about how you're feeling, um, what you want to do and how things are going, then everything breaks down. Uh, and I have a little version of that at the end of these top five um, about relationships in general um these come from the video that evan carmichael does well worth watching that absolutely brilliant um really took top tips from everybody on there but uh, number one was appreciate the other person um so quite often the other person will feel like you haven't appreciated them even if you do appreciate them you should make sure that they overtly know that they're being appreciated um and that you know you couldn't be who the person you are and you couldn't have achieved the things you're doing without their help and support and all that kind of stuff so no matter what it is that you're doing uh, make sure that you appreciate the uh, other person in your life and again this is where it goes through to that works in a business environment as well. So appreciate the people in your company, your, your employees, and the, your business partner, all that kind of stuff. That's already good. Hello, Adele. Happy, happy, <laughs> happy birthday to you too. <laughs> um, uh, physical intimacy. Okay, so this definitely isn't for uh, work relationships and so forth, but um, it's worth thinking about. Um, and obviously tricky in these times as well. Um, but in your relationship, are you actually physically intimate with the person that you're with? Because if that starts to break down. Uh, that's not good relationship either. Uh, there's a really cool story they talk about in there, I think, where they, I can't remember who it was that's talking about, talking about it, but he was saying how when he used to pick up his girlfriend, uh, he used to look through the window and he'd see his parents' girlfriends with the TV off, dancing, slow dancing in the front room through the window. Um, and they obviously just love each other completely. Um, and that's just fantastic. So it's not just about sex, it's about touching and being connected and spending time with and, and, and just uh, appreciating the other person physically um, as well as, well as uh, with your words as well. Obviously, see five love languages by the way um go and check out five, five love languages.com i think it is um well worth having because if you're in a relationship and you don't know who what your love language is and you don't know what their love language is you'll find there's always clashes going on there and again it's all, all down to communication always communication um expand expand your relationship so trying new things um ex exploring new places all that kind of stuff is well worth doing um, in the, the video they talk about this which is kind of cool because they say um uh, how much should you expand? How much you explore? And it's like, well, it depends on where you are in your relationship because um, obviously if you don't explore and do anything at all, then you'll fossilize, you'll stagnate and you'll die. Your relationship will just die because you're not doing anything. It's boring. It's just stagnant and not worth anything at all. But if you explore and experiment too much, it can create chaos and instability and eventually it'll break down because it's just too, too chaotic and crazy. Um, so there's a compromise in between there and obviously each individual relationship will know where that compromise is. But it's worth bearing in mind that exploring and excite creating excitement in your relationships is really useful. Um, number four is uh, compromising. Yes, compromises. Um, because any, any problem that you left unsaid will bubble up and eventually you will resent it. It'll cause problems. That's where the open and honest communication comes into it. Um, if you've got something small that you hate and causes a problem in a relationship, but then you don't talk about it, it'll bubble up. It'll keep coming up in the little relationship, uh, um, in future arguments and so forth. And then um, it just gets worse and worse and worse because then there's something else you don't talk about because you know that if you talk about that, then it'll bring up this other thing. Um, and then something else will happen and you say, well, I can't bring up that anymore because that'll bring up this one and then that'll bring up this one. And it just becomes this whole nobody talking to anybody kind of scenario. And it's a bit of a mess. Um, I'm going to go over my 10 minutes now. This is, not, this is exactly what I was talking about at the beginning with the birthday thing. Um, 
<laughs> uh, and number five, uh, which I thought was a really, really cool one. This is a very, very good tip. I'd never heard this one before, so uh, I'm definitely taking this one forward, um, which is uh, avoid keeping score, which I've kind of heard before, but this is, he talks about covert contracts. And this is the, the critical part. And this works for a business environment as well, particularly, um, which is where you've, in your head, you've got this kind of contract with the other person. So I've done this for them. Um, and so therefore they owe me in some way, shape or form. And you can do lots of things for somebody else. You can keep doing things and doing things and doing things. And eventually over time you build up, right, they owe me now. And then you go back to them and you say, right, you owe me. You don't say that they owe them, but you ask them to do something and then they don't do it for you. And then you think, huh, you've broken this covert contract in my head that I knew about, but you didn't know anything about. Um, and so now I now resent you for breaking the contract that you had no knowledge of at all. You didn't know anything about it. So how can I, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, just be careful of that. Just be careful of the, creating those uh, covert contracts. Um, inside your head so yeah uh, Evan Carmichael then talks about supporting them first so if you're in, in a business environment um, always support the other person again this is where it comes back to the uh, avo avo avoiding the covert contracts um, <laughs> not getting excited in the background hope you can still hear me right um, it's Darren Hardy brings up a thing called um, cashing up so at the end of every week you go back and you say what could I have done this week uh, that could have improved this relationship how could I have made this so you sort of say score the week out of 10 um, and say to your partner okay so that wasn't 10 what could I have done to make that better and that creates open honest communication do it regularly as well because if you wait and do this after a long period of time it brings up all that resentment and that building stacking problems that we talked about before um, and that's not helpful sorry the wind just blew my phone over um, so that's not very helpful either um, and um, Yes, so you could do this, this cashing out thing that, uh, that uh, Darren Hardy talks about. He has a really cool way of talking about it. I've never been able to find the video where I originally heard that or the audio or wherever it was I originally heard it, but it was such a cool idea. Thanks, Adele. Um, I'll mention the thing about Russell Brand anyway briefly, but well worth his, his video that's linked in the description is absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, really, really good. I, I've never really got on with Russell Brand too much because I find him, he's too, his language is too flowery, he tends to go on a little bit and it's hard to pick out the actual points. But what Evan Carmichael done here, has done here is just cut out the little bits <laughs> that are really important uh, and put it into a top 10 tips, which is actually really good. It's a good way of cons consuming <laughs> Russell Brand. Um, well, one of the things that he did say in that video that was particularly good was, and in fact, I'm going to have to listen to that video, I think two or three times myself because it was that good, um, was um, you're never really in prison. So it's like, so things for this because I think this comes from um, Eckhart Tolle. Um, he says, uh, You're never really in a prison. Um, you're actually just in a room and you can look out the window and you can do things in your room. You're not actually in a prison. The prison is only outside of the room that you're in or the moment you're in. You're in a certain individual moment. Hello to Australia. Hello, Jade. How are you doing? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what you're saying thank you to, Adele, but thank you anyway. Um, um, and, uh, or maybe it's just the whole video, the information perhaps, I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, yes, yeah, so you're actually not in prison. And I thought this was just such a genius idea. Maybe I do need to explore this a little bit further tomorrow. Um, because you're not, you're just in the moment, wherever you are, you're in the moment, you're just there. Um, and you can choose to impose all the negativity of the idea of being in a prison, or you can just explore the moment where you are and just enjoy what you're doing and not feel like a prison. So for example, when I'm, I'm at home and I'm in my room, that room is not that much different from being in a prison cell, really, um, uh, depending on how you look at it and that kind of stuff. It could be anyway. If you go to a hotel, go to a hotel, probably a better idea. And go to a hotel. Okay, you've got all the extra extremities, but actually in the room, you've got a TV, you've got a bed, you've got a bathroom, that's it. A <laughs> um, bit flowery, a bit fussier maybe than a, than a prison, but uh, essentially you are in a prison when you're in a hotel room, um, if you think about it. Um, and the ability to just kind of go, oh, okay, so I can just enjoy this moment and just um, be present with what I'm doing and where I am and so forth. Um, okay, yeah, I definitely need to explore that more in another, when I have more time to explore it and add in some other stuff. But. Uh, Go watch Russell Brunson things. Not just about that. It's got a whole bunch of other things about self uh, confidence and um, uh, self pity um, and all sorts of really cool stuff. Um, well worth watching. So anyway, gone over time. That's all from me. For Love you all. Take care. Have a lovely Tuesday.